After breaking ground as one of the first college courses dedicated to studying how to grow food on Mars, the astrobiology class at Villanova University is gearing up for another semester's harvest. WHYY's Kyrie Greenberg reports on what does and does not grow in Martian soil. Astronomer Edward Guinan says when choosing plants for Mars, you want something that's renewable, doesn't need a lot of light, and is very hardy. Oh, Mars is cold, so a high temperature on a certain day could go up to 60 degrees, and then that very night it would be minus 40. The soil his class uses is called Mars simulant, a sterile red powder sourced from the Mojave Desert. Every time it's watered, it makes a thick clay that chokes roots. Small salad greens did well, but potatoes did not. To help aerate the soil, the class began mixing in other materials, including cardboard, plastic pieces, and compost. And this semester, Guinan sourced some aliens to help the colony. Martian worms, not earthworms, Martian worms. We have 500 worms coming. We're going to see how they do in a Martian soil mix with garbage in it. And if worse comes to worse, he says dandelions grow anywhere. I mean, I picked plants the students didn't like. I picked uh, dandelions because you can eat the leaves, you can eat the root, you can eat the flower. Uh, but they didn't like the idea of eating dandelions. They did like the idea of making wine, <laughs> the dandelion uh, flower. This semester will be more scientific with side-by-side controls. Student Janina Guzman is taking daily measurements for her first publishable paper. She says the project inspired her to pursue a Ph.D. in astrobiology. It might look like, oh, they're just growing plants, but it's something that in the end might actually contribute a lot to how we establish a colony on Mars and how we take care of that. For WHYY News, Kyrie Greenberg.